Have you been applying to hundreds of jobs on LinkedIn or Nokri.com, tweaking your resume each time only to face rejection? Do you know why? That's because the companies use something called an ATS, Applicant Tracking System, to filter your resume. If your resume doesn't score well, it's game over before it begins. And here's the twist. Most companies don't even actually see your resume. They put the entire set of resumes they receive in this software and shortlist your resume bases the score. A few years ago, I was also stuck in this loop, confused and demotivated why my resume is not working. But then I finally found a smarter way to approach it. We are living in the age of AI, aren't we? In this video, I'll show you how to use the AI tools not only to get through the ATI scanning, but also to catch the recruiter's eye. From writing impactful content, to designing sleek templates, to testing them through ATS, we'll cover it all in the video. The method is so simple that you can quickly create multiple resumes meant for different roles or different companies. Let's dive in and level up your resume. Number 1. Creating Content So before we begin, we must ensure we create the prompt for ChatGPT. As you can see, I've noted everything that I want to tell in my resume in a notepad. The prompt can have two things. One is instructions. Second is the content that we want to mention in the resume. Here are the instructions I have noted for my resume. The heading should be executive summary, education, work experience, skills, certifications and achievements. Practically all the headings that I want to see in my resume. The next instruction is that top three work experiences have to be four to six points versus the rest can be two to four points. Typically while shortlisting your resume, the interviewer is more concerned about the previous three experiences. Then there should be an executive summary of three lines approximately and the sentence structure and this is also the important piece should have some sort of a flow where it has an impact verb then example achieved, gestated, developed or reduced an impact value example 50 million worth of stock and by doing what basically by optimizing inventory or any other steps that we may have taken. The second piece is the content noting down basic details about your education about the work experience that you've done just the bullet pointer so that chat GPT can interpret these pointers and put it in a content form for your resume. The benefit of chat GPT is that it can create seamless statements for all the information that you've provided as bullet points. Once the entire prompt is ready, press Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy the entire content of the prompt. Now go to your browser and type chatgpt.com. Paste the prompt there by pressing Ctrl V and let chat GPT do its magic. As you can see, ChatGPT has started creating the entire content in various headings that we had provided in the prompt. We can see executive summary, education, work experience and other things. Now in another window, open chatgpt.com and type in another prompt. Build a resume for me in latex using colorful theme that is quite elaborate and paste the entire prompt again. As you can see, ChatGPT has created latex version of the resume which we will see later in the video how can it be used to create your resume. Now open another window of chatgpt.com and write down another prompt. Write my resume in JSON format. Here are the details. Once you paste the prompt again and ask chatgpt to generate, you will find that chatgpt creates a JSON version of the resume info. Now go to another tab and type in gravityrights.com. GravityWrite is a website that uses AI to generate the content for your resume from the info that you have provided. It is similar to ChatGPT, only customized to create content depending on the kind of use case. Click on Login. Now you use your Google account to sign in and proceed. Once you have logged in using your Google account, go to the top in the search bar Resume and select the first option resume writer. You will see a form that needs to be filled. Now copy paste all the information that you have collated in the prompt and paste it over here in the various fields that are there. Some of the information might be there. The ones which are not can be put as any. As you can see much like chat GPT, gravity right has created the entire content. Now let's move to phase two designing the resume. In a new tab, open canva.com. My Canva is already logged in from my Gmail account. It is similar to what we saw in Gravity, right? Just log in through your Gmail account. Once you have logged in, go to create a design and type in resume template. Select the first option, which is template design for resumes. Now, as you can see on the left, there are a bunch of designs which can be used to create your resume. Select any one. For my personal use case, let me select this one. 
Now, as you can see, this is a predefined template that has been provided by Canva for free. You can copy paste the information from any of the sources, whether gravity, right, or the first tab in chat GPT. Let me select chat GPT and start pasting the information. So now you can see that the entire information is filled and our resume looks quite good. In order to save, just go to share and select download, select a PDF version and then we will download this. Rename this resume in the local disk as resume from Canva. Now let us see how we can generate the resume using the latex code that we made earlier. For that the most common and best website is overleaf.com. So in your browser open overleaf.com, go to accounts and sign in using your Google account. Now go to new projects on the left and select blank projects. Let us write the name of the project as resume new. As you can see, there is a left pane where we'll place the latex code. Now go back to chat GPT where we had created the latex code, copy the entire code and now paste it over here. Now click on recompile. As you can see, overleaf.com has instantaneously created your resume. The latex code can be modified to improve the CV. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let us just download this version. Now you can save this in your local disk as resume latex version. Now let us see the third method of designing the resume which is using the JSON script. For this purpose, we'll have to do two things. One is that we save the JSON script that chat GPT has created in a JSON file. The second is to upload the file in a tool called reactive resume. Personally, I choose JSON editor file.org. However, there can be other tools which can help you create the JSON file in your local disk. As you can see on the left, this is where we place the JSON script. Now go to chatgpt.com, select the script and copy and place it over here. The script is created in a JSON version. Go to the save button on the top and click save to disk. Rename this as sample.json.json and save it. Now your sample file is created in a local disk, which is a JSON script. Now we will go to reactive resume. So search reactive resume in a browser and select the first option. The website is rxresu.me. Now again, first login using your Google account. As you can see, I'm already logged in. Now click on the option import an existing resume. You will find that the file type is reactive resume. Change it to JSON resume. Now choose the file in your local disk and upload. As you can see, we have sample resume.json. Click on validate. And if the validation is successful, click on import. Now as you can see, it has created a new file. The name may be different, but that's okay. Now let's see what reactive resume has created for us. Click on the newly created resume and you will find the resume is there and you can choose from a bunch of designs depending on your requirement. All of these designs are quite good. Let me select the one which does not have the image as we had not put in an image. The resume looks quite good. Now simply click on the bottom right button which shows download PDF and your PDF with the new resume will be downloaded. You can retitle in your local disk as resume JSON. We finally arrived at creating our resumes in three different ways. The first part gave us insights on what kind of content we can generate using Gravity Write or ChatGPT. The second part explained how we can use different methods to design the resume. Now how do we know which is the best resume? For that, we need to pass all the three resumes through an ATS resume scanner. Number 3. ATS Resume Test In a new tab, search for ATS scanner and select any of the free ATS resume checker tools that are out there. I'm going to select the second one, resume scanner. Here if you see, the tool wants to know a little more details, but you can click on the right side black window and this will go away. For now, let's just upload first resume which is made in Canva. As you can see, this is uploaded. Now let's wait for it to process. And here we see that it has rated our resume as 10. Now let us try this out with the other version of the resume and understand what are those improvement areas that it may suggest. Now let's upload the resume made using it. Let it process. As you can see, the latex resume version has been scored as 55 out of 100, much higher than the one created in Canva. However, the ATS tool is mentioning some of the improvement areas. So let's click on let's dive in. As you can see, there are suggestions to fix your resume. 
let us understand one of these suggestions as you can see it will generate the suggestion and instead of the points we are headed crm entry strategy for high potential yoga retreat market the tool has recreated an elaborate definition for the same point now finally let's go back and try the third resume made in json let us upload the resume let us wait for it to process a great score which is 55 which is same as what we created in latex while the resumes you made using latex and json have scored equally well which is 55 it does not mean that the resumes made by a canva can never score better it is also dependent on the type of content and the type of prompt that you have created in order to generate these resume now you've seen how ai can transform your resume game but here's the thing a resume is just a start landing a dream job is about more than just creating a great design it is about identifying the right career choices for you and also acing the interviews. So if you are ready to take the next step, check out my video on career options after graduation and the proven 3P framework to crack any interview. And if you want me to make any video covering specific topic, do mention in the comments below. Thanks for watching, hit like and share this video with somebody who is struggling to create their resume. I'll see you in the next one.